Can you imagine taking exotic vacations, flying first class, and staying in fancy hotels for under a hundred dollars? So I can imagine that. <laughs> yes, you can because you did the story. There are people doing just that using points they accumulate by signing up for dozens of credit cards. The people who do this are called credit card churners. This morning you're meeting a local man who's turned his credit card churning hobby into a charity that's helping reunite families all over the world. This is Dr. Seth Stanton, an optometrist who works at the Daughters of Charity here in New Orleans. He sees patients all day and once a year he even joins other doctors in Honduras to give free medical services to the poor. But that's not what this story is about. Dr. Stanton is also a credit card churner. Churners are people who in many cases get dozens of credit cards to play the system racking up hundreds of thousands of points or in other cases millions. I'm probably somewhere in the vicinity of three million points, miles, whatever at this point. Um, and I've used those to fly first class around the world. I've used them to... For free? You have to pay taxes. Uh, I, I, flew to, I flew to Hong Kong in first class uh, and it cost me $20. And then there was his trip to Thailand. You ate like a king on the plane. Mm -hmm. You stayed in first class hotels, mm -hmm. stayed at a resort, a beautiful resort. In Thailand, yeah in Thailand, and that would have cost how much retail? $50,000. And you paid? $500. Doing this takes a lot of time, and if you wonder, does he have to charge large sums of money to make it happen? Not really. You have to spend some money. It's not like you can just do this and not spend any money at all, and you also have to keep track of what cards you've signed up for and what cards you have used the points on and how to use the points. And it, it's a fair amount of work. Like I've, I have some spreadsheets and I do research on it. And like how many credit cards do you have right now? Do you want to see the drawer? Yeah. That many. You're kidding. These are the um, credit cards Seth has gotten in just the past three years. No. He has about 30 active credit cards right now. He's also active on credit card churner forums where others like him share tips on how to amass even more points. But one day on one of those forums, there was something that changed his life. A guy who, who wrote, a, a, wrote a post on this forum uh, about how he had used about the same number of miles that it took for me to fly to Hong Kong in first class, but he had used them to reunite a Pakistani Christian family in Italy. The whole family had been persecuted for, for being Christian, and the father had fled um, and had walked, hitchhiked, ridden trains from Pakistan to Italy. The man was granted refugee asylum, and after nearly two years was told by the Italian government he could fly his family into Italy, but he had no way to pay for it. The guy who did this, his name is Nick, wrote the story about how he had basically used these miles that he could have used for a trip like flying to Hong Kong and he'd brought a family back together in, in safety for the first time in forever. That gave Seth an idea. What if a bunch of churners use their miles to do the same thing, but on a larger scale? And so we, we formed our own nonprofit. And what's it called? It's called Miles for Migrants, with four being the number four. In just one year, milesformigrants.org has reunited more than 30 families, flying 81 people out of war-torn countries. There was a client in Belgium who had been forced out of Afghanistan, and he needed to get his family out. And the reason why he's separated from his family is because he worked for the U.S. military. And after we left whatever region of Afghanistan he happened to be in, he was threatened with his life for working with us, and he had to leave. And I feel like we probably owe it to him to at least be back together with his family, somewhere safe. Um, and it looks like the U.S. government isn't gonna do it, so. You guys will. How about, how about we do it? His family was finally reunited. Their story is on the Miles for Migrants website showing their hands together they can't show their faces for fear of harming other family members. And there are so many others like this family who need help as well. 
So the points he and other credit card churners amass to take exotic vacations may be nice. Helping families in war-torn countries reunite to start a new life using those same points is even better. And it I really like is that. cool what he's doing. Yeah, uh, very I admire that so much. You don't have to be a credit card churner if you want to donate to Miles, uh, milesformigrants.org. Anyone can donate miles um, or money to the organization. Just head to our website, www.tv.com. Yeah, because the tickets aren't always free. You, you, you get them with the miles, but mm -hmm. then sometimes there's taxes to pay, and they have to pay cash for that. Yeah, and people wonder, you know, how easy is this? I mean, is this something anyone can do? Yeah, pretty much. I mean, you can do it on a smaller scale and get a lot of benefits from it, but uh, to do what he does and those other turners do, you've got to be very organized. I mean, you have to play the system, you have to keep spreadsheets, you've got to watch everything. It takes a lot of work. Yeah, and I guess you have to be very careful so it doesn't affect your credit report. Yeah, but, but you see what's gotten him, it's done very well. Mm -hmm.